A compromise tonight at the Nebraska legislature keeps the governor's property tax relief proposal alive. Thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Rob McCartney. Senators agreed to remove one of the most controversial elements of the bill, so the state sales tax will not go up. KETV Newswatch 7, Sean McKinnon joins us next with what happens. The bill that moved forward today was a compromise, but some senators on the outside of the deal are raising the alarm, saying their colleagues are rushing this through. How does it shake out for the average working person? Has anybody run the numbers on that? I'm looking at the people who negotiated the deal. What's the numbers? Senator Danielle Conrad is asking how a proposed tax increase will affect Nebraskans, like on cigarettes, vaping, hemp, and lottery tickets, and adding sales tax to candy, pop, and pet care. It would all fund some form of property tax relief. The bill would front load property tax savings and send more money directly to school districts. That would lower the levy and your property tax bill. Conrad criticized senators who cut the deal. As she sees it, it'll cost working class Nebraskans more than it saves them. If you want to make yourself feel better that somehow you've elicited some concession to help low income working people, show me the numbers. Senator Michaela Kavanaugh says she's not happy with the bill either, but cut the deal she did to make it palatable. And we're going to have a special session on taxes and we're going to have to do more work. And if you don't like what I did, then get in the mix yourself. Either way, senators seemed in agreement they'd be back in special session this summer because the bill would not bring a 40% property tax reduction like Governor Pillen wants. We have more work to do this year and we won't stop. Conrad worries senators are pushing the deal through without giving it enough thought. Quote unquote, we cut a deal, let's go home. I'm tired. Quote unquote, we cut a deal, why are we still talking? Well, I didn't cut any deal, and I'm not tired. The bill's sponsor says they've spent months crafting it. And I take offense to people getting up and saying, we're doing things in a scatter matter way, and we don't know what we're doing. Not everyone is on board with the plan. Americans for Prosperity calls the bill a last-minute effort that still increases costs for families and businesses. The final debate is scheduled on the final day of the session, one week from tomorrow, and lawmakers could make even more changes. Back to you.